Hello, this is Leanne Lyon, Chief Joy Officer of Joy Minder Consulting, back with another training. This is for NowSite. This is for the amazing, affordable, all-in-one NowSite product that I use for my marketing. It includes websites and emails and everything else. Now, if you're using NowSite, you'll be able to apply what I'm going to show you right here. If you're not using NowSite, there's some information below on how you can get started. So one thing that people like to do is be able to jump between pages, even between websites, um, quickly and easily using buttons. Sometimes you want to jump down a page. And um, so I'm calling them jumps. I think there's a more technical term like anchor links kind of deal. But I'm going to show you how to do this quickly after I fix my necklace. There you go. Hi. <laughs> And I do these kind of live, right? And I don't edit. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So we're going to see over here one of my websites. And this is a website called Decision to Do and Not Try. Um, if you go to the home page, I'll just let you see what that looks like. Here you go. And it's a very personal site. There is no try, Yoda. Okay, I'm not actually all that bit, much of a... Star Wars fan, but I do believe that, you know, you have to decide to do things. And when I decided that I was going to regain my health, my energy, everything, um, there's been no looking back and I've been pleased with my results. So the resources page here, um, I have listed some books, some videos, some tools, some free stuff, favorite things. And as you can see, I've started adding some uh, buttons right up here. And I'm going to show you how to do all this, but I want you to show, to show you what it does uh, so you'll be able to see this. So when I click on the word books, it actually is going to jump me down the page. That's why I kind of call them jumps to the books section. As you can imagine, my next button is going to say videos. And if I clicked that, it would bring me down here. So how do we do that exactly? I'm going to show you. I try to keep these quick and easy. I'm in the back office. I already have this opened up for you to see. So if, okay, wait, 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 not the back office. Justin Bellababa, our amazing CEO, corrected me online during a video yesterday saying, this is not the back office. This is our account. The back office is for affiliates. And that's how we track the money that we can make with this. But this is my account. So I'm in my account. I'm in the website editor of my account and I'm editing this website. I've clicked so that I'm into editing this resources page, as you can see. So how do I do that? I'm going to get the terminology right yet. It's only been 11 months. I will find the button. Okay, so I'm scrolling one, two, three, four, five down. On the left-hand side is a button. I left click on that and drag it over into one of these sections. Now, how to create sections and stuff like that, different tool, different. I'll do another training on it if you want it. But I've created a button. You see it's a black button right now. It has no heading, no subheading, no text, and the redirect URL is blank. So I wanna put a text in there. The next thing down was videos. So I'm gonna type videos in there. Now you see it popping up here. I need to have a button URL. Now, the best way to get that is to go into your website. I went to the resources page and just copied this from here. Now I'm back in my editor and I'm gonna copy it into here. Well, that will only bring me to the resources page, which I'm already on. So I don't really need that, right? But now I'm gonna add something extra. I'm gonna add a forward slash hashtag videos. So what I've done is I've added on. So look on here in the left-hand side, forward slash hashtag videos is where this button is going to take me on this page. Now, if I had a different page, even a different website, it could take that I had control over putting these types of anchors into, uh, it would take me there. Now, I don't need to open this in a new window because really I'm just jumping down the page. So I'm not going to click that box, but I'm going to click on OK. Now, actually, at this point, if I, I'll show you, if I hit save here and I go up here and I refresh, you're going to see that black button appear in a moment. It's waiting to update. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. And if I click that, you're going to see nothing happens. And that's because there is no place called videos on here that it knows to go. So where do you put that? I'm going to scroll down. Remember, I want it to jump down to this box videos, but I don't click in the box. I actually need to click just outside. I'm going to click just outside where you see the arrow on the left side so that all of this section is highlighted with a blue box. Once I'm in there on the left um, editor over here, I'm going to click on style and go down to advanced. And in advanced, in the section ID, I'm going to type the word videos, because that's the name of this section. The ID for this section is videos. So I'm going to say OK and save. Waiting for it to be fully saved before I try to refresh it, or it doesn't work too well. Okay, website is updated, I'm told. So I go back to this tab. I'm going to hit refresh again. Now, this time you're not really going to see anything different, but when I click on videos, this time you can see it's working in the tab. It jumps down to the video section. Yay! So it's pretty easy to do this, um, and you can probably think of other ways to do this. I'm going to show you one other example, but before I do, I, I'm going to fix up this one, the video, the style. I want to change it to the right font, the right size here. I think the, um, I think I did 30. Looks like I did 25. Just to make things look beautiful. Changing from um, black to 30, my brand color. And there we go. Oops, that's bold regular there. Now I've got two of the four buttons. You can see I'm going to add in two more buttons, but um, I'm going to come back to this one. We're going to hit save and exit. I want to show you one other example of where you could use this. It's saving, it's doing all this stuff. So now we're going to go to, I'm trying to remember where, okay. We're going to go to my very first website I created, which is my uh, Joyminder consulting page. We're going to edit this. I'm just going to show you another example. So I've now added to this. I have the blog. If you look on the left hand side, there's a home page, a blog page, free stuff page. But the only tabs you see are home and joy minder blog, not blog, not free stuff, and not blog post downloads. But it is actually there. So this gets a little more complicated. If you don't like complicated, you can just skip this. <laughs> if you do want complicated, you can pause the video and make sure you really grasp it. Because when I click on the three little dots here, I have the ability to show and then or hide any of these tabs. As you can tell, at the moment I have hidden, I had hidden both the blog and the blog post download uh, and the free stuff. Um, tabs. I do want to hide those. I can rehide them. It's the three little dots. But first, I'm going to just temporarily, just for a moment, so I can get the link that I need. I'm going to hit save and preview. So now in my real live website that everybody in the world could see at the moment, it does show the blog post downloads. I'm going to click on that just to open it up just so I can get the URL out of here. I've got it now. I copied it. So now I'm going to go back here and um, I'm going to hide that again. So I click on the three little dots and hide it and it's disappeared again. I'm going to click on save just so it goes live. And again, if I hit refresh here, you're going to see that that is going to disappear. It's gone. But here's where I might want to use it. I'm going to go into now and edit. I'm going to click on the little pencil to the right of the Joyminder blog. So now I'm editing that page. And I have a whole bunch of blogs in here, as you can tell. Um, the first one is called Top 10 Reasons for Starting a Home-Based Business. Hey, that's a great blog, don't you think? Blog post? Definitely. Well, when people read this post, I'm just going to show you, they actually go to a separate website that I've created called Reasons to Start a Home-Based Business. So I'm going to cancel here and save and exit this whole page. 
and show you where I'm going to go. I'm going to go into and find that blog post. So the easiest way for me to do that, I'm going to organize because I have almost 200 websites. It's easier for me to organize by name. I'm going in here, Joyminder blog. Uh, 10 reasons to start a home-based business is right here. I'm going to edit that one now. So once again, I have a button already in here and it's called download and print. So when I click on that button or that section, I see that it goes back to, I said this is a little com complicated, but follow me, joyminderconsulting.now.site forward slash and then blog um, post downloads and then hashtag reasons forward slash oh, downloads. Oh, I'm missing, there's a part. I'm missing the forward slash hashtag reasons. So I'm going to say, okay, it's in there now. So now I'm going to, it's, that's been saved. It's in there. I'm going to hit save and exit. I'm going to go back to my first website down here. The Joyminder Consulting website. I'm going to go back and just make sure that that anchor was put in here properly because I think it hadn't been working. I now I know why because I've forgotten the forward slash. All of these little things they do matter. Uh, this is why some people hate doing this stuff. But if you're here and you want to learn this, that's why I do these trainings. I love doing this. I love helping people figure this out. So I'm, once again, I'm going to click on the pencil next to Joyminder downloads this time and. What I want them to get to is this particular post, this particular section. So I'm going to click on here and go to style, go to advanced, and right here type in reasons because that was where what I'd put in there before. I click on OK, and this section is now called reasons. So in other words, they should come to this section skipping the heading at the top of the page when they click on that post. So let's find out if we go and just open a new window, uh, reasons to start a home-based business. If I click on download and print now, it should take me to there and even jump me down just a little bit might still be catching up. Let's do one more just to see on the eight ways to make extra money at home because that would jump me further down the page. So we're going to go in here. Um, nope, here. I might not have hit save and exit. I probably didn't hit save. So let's try this once again. I hit download and print. Yeah, there we go. I'd forgotten to save it before. See how it jumped me down just a little bit? I can do that for all of these. So just for fun, actually, let's go all the way to the bottom one. Um, eight steps to becoming a top earner in your field. Now, this is all the way down at the bottom of the page. People might not get there if they don't see that they can um, you know, that they'd have to scroll down to get to it, but I want them to download it. And I don't want them to have to scroll necessarily through all of my blog posts to get there. I want them to get what they want to get. So, um, this is going to be on the eight steps to top earner. So we're going to find top, become a top earner in your field is the name of the website. That's what we're going to edit in here. It's a blog post. I'm going to sort by name. Join Minder blog, become a top earner, edit. Oops, that's a copy. Um, edit this one, edit, just making sure. This is what we want to change. Joyminderconsulting.com. Okay, and once again, what I actually forgot to do was put in the forward slash. Okay. 
I now save and exit. A little complicated just because I did um, put in, uh, you know, so these that are on separate pages, but it's all good. Now we're going to edit it here. Go down to downloads. You get the idea. This is just rinse and repeat at this point. Except I forgot what the, I called that one. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to sneeze. Yay. Hmm. I cancel. I have to know the right name. <laughs> it won't work if I don't have the right name. So I'm going to go back to that blog post one more time. I can't reward. I can't rewind when I'm recording, right? So edit. Okay, what did I call it? I often keep a sheet of paper near me. Oh, I call it. Um, oh, top hashtag top. Uh, I'm going to call it top earner. And one way around that is, and I could have said this, E-A-R-N-E-R, -E top earner, is just copy it right here. And just copy this one little section at the end, if you can, um, because it means that you won't misspell it. If you did misspell it, it'll be misspelled both places. So here I copied it this time. I'm gonna say, okay, and save and exit. Go back once again. Now we'll be able to wrap this up. And I'm going into Joyminder Consulting web page, edit. Go back to the blog post downloads, edit. Scroll down to the bottom, find that section. Here it is. And notice it's the whole section. It's the, it's the kind of the promo for it as well as the form. It's all in here together. And this is where I wanna click on style. Click on advanced, click into section ID, paste top earner into this, click on OK, click on save and exit. Now I'm going to go back here, refresh this just to be sure that um, all the things that I've changed are updated. And now when I click on download and print, voila. It switches over to the now hidden page. Remember, you can't find blog post downloads except through these buttons that I've set up. And now it's automatically, I didn't do that. It automatically scrolled down to eight steps to becoming a top earner in your field, download and print, and there we go. So that's the quick, easy way to do um, jumps, even between websites. You can jump between websites as long as you have control over both websites. And I call them jumps. That's not the official term, <laughs> but it works. So I hope that was useful. And you saw a couple of different applications for it. And I hope uh, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If it was useful, if I skipped something that made it too confusing, whatever, I'm, I'm open for feedback. I want this to be useful for you. I love training. I love teaching. I love speaking. And I'm not afraid to make mistakes. So this is my YouTube channel. That's why I can do it. So please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for Joyminder Consulting, if you hit the bell, you'll be updated next time I do another training video, which probably will be really soon, trying to do more of these. By all means, communicate with me. Let me know. What do you want to learn? What do you need to know more about? How can I help? I'd love to know what I can do to do these videos. It's easier to do one short video like this and help many, many, many people than to meet up with people on charge by the hour, which by the way, can be really expensive. So this is free. Enjoy, have a great day. And again, Leanne Lyon, Chief Joy Officer of Joy Minor Consulting at your service with my pleasure.